Hello and welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to program your mind to create wealth in your life. Wealth in the financial sense and also in the emotional sense. Now most people only concentrate on the financial aspect of their life because they feel that that is what is missing. Yet there has to be an equilibrium, an equilibrium of wealth, a gratitude, a sense that you have more than enough. Yet that also must be in prudence, in the understanding that wealth, whether it is a certain sum of money or accumulation, material things, is only subjective from one person to the next. Yes, a person may consider, for example, a million dollars to be a huge sum of money and certainly a sense of wealth, while another might see that money as a trifling small change. To a person living in a poor small country, a portion of that money would mean a life of wealth and prosperity. For some, it may mean that they can afford to provide for their families or for their loved ones. For others, it may mean an opportunity to seek out what they truly wish, which is a career or a skill that they pursue without the worries of making a living, putting bread on the table. Whatever your dream is, please understand that you are the only instrument that is standing in the way of your success. And you are the ultimate decider of what you will have in the future. While your mind, from your childhood, your adolescence, has been programmed to perceive the world in a certain way, a sense of having too little or having not enough is the single most detrimental part of not getting what you want. So in this session, we're going to reverse those road blockages, those negative programmings, and put in programmings that will bring in wealth and financial success for you. That financial success will ultimately translate into happiness and prosperity, will translate to a sense of gratitude and abundance. And that in itself is the true ultimate goal wealth, because wealth in itself is an instrument in achieving a state of mind, a state of mind that says you have more than enough, that you are protected, that you are going to be safe for tomorrow. Now, I would like you to think about this part of your mind that has had you fail time after time. I want you to think about the parts of your mind that have sabotaged your success in the past. Because all of us are guilty from one or the other of not knowing that our greatness is only dependent on our attitude, our outlook in life, our way of communicating with the world. That may mean our colleagues, our people in our lives that are close to us, our families, and the people that we meet in general with the outside world. That determines what you will do with the wealth that you are about to experience in your life. If you are a person of gratitude and kindness, then sense of abundance will dictate your life, knowing that you will always have more than you need. For those who don't have that attitude, they will find themselves gathering more. There is no limit to what human greed can have. Yet we must differentiate between greed and the desire to have more, a more of happiness and wealth that ultimately translates to a sense of security. Now, if you have now been thinking about all this, I want you to realize that we are about to embark on a journey, a journey that is going to be very fruitful, perhaps life-altering, but you must leave out Everything that you have held and believed that is detrimental. I want you to leave the disbelief outside the door. Let it go. 
and open your mind to change, change that will happen all by itself through the practice of listening. The words have power, actions have power, ultimately our thoughts have power because our thoughts translate into words, into actions that shape and create our life. Now, I would like you to take a comfortable position, perhaps in a reclining position or a lying down position, making sure your head is fully rested, supported perhaps by a pillow. And I want you to uncross your arms and legs, allowing yourself to feel comfortable and ensure that your phone, your electronic devices are turned off and that you will not be disturbed for at least a duration of 30 minutes. During this time, we are going to cultivate new patterns of thinking that is going to change your outlook on life and your ultimate experience of attracting wealth to your life. So as you do now, I would like you to push your shoulders back a bit and put your gaze into a point, perhaps in the room or perhaps an object that you see before you. Just really concentrate on that object. Let your eyes focus and let it fixate as you take a deep breath in and as you hold it for a brief moment, only to release the air ever so slightly, a little softer than the time when you took the breath in. This way, you are able to dictate your actions, the thing that you control, which is your breath. And it is no accident that it has been called an inspiration. Because inspiration is the fundamental part of creativity, of being human. We create our future by inspiration, by inspiring ourselves to realize or dream of things that ultimately become our reality. Now I want you to let your eyelids close ever so gently. Locking tight, locking tightly, like as if two iron curtains had closed and these iron bolts are placed and screwed so that it is unopenable, that it is impossible to let those iron gates lift. In fact, it's so tightly sealed, there is a strong element of glue and cement that is poured over it so that it becomes more and more permanent permanently closed, the idea that the outside, the visuals, will not interfere with your journey, but the visions inside will direct the course of your imagination. I want you to realize for a moment that your actions of closing your eyes turns your attention inwards. This is where the journey will begin, and you have already embarked on this journey by taking that first deep breath in and relaxing. And as you continue to breathe shallower and slower, notice that sense of relaxation, the slow breathing, brings a sense of calm to your body because a sense of calm and peacefulness is often accompanied by a sense of relief and safety. This is why when we are sleeping, our sleep is often associated with this beautiful slow breathing, slow heart rate, slow sensation of being drifting into a state of sleep. Now, I want you to notice how you are letting go tensions and frustrations of the day, allowing your muscles to relax, especially the ones around your shoulders and neck, and perhaps your jaw. And as you do so, you may also find things like your forehead and your scalp, the back of your ears relaxing. And the sensation of relaxation can send your mind down the rabbit hole, where you will just glide so gently into a state of altered reality, where you can hear the words ever so calmly, hear it very precisely, and it will mean more than the words itself, because they will be talking to your unconscious mind. This unconscious mind is ultimately what determines where your mind is going. It's like a boat that leaves the harbor and sails towards a destination that we call happiness, tranquility, and 
serenity, a sense that we are safe in our environment, that the sense of relaxation can allow us to drift, and our mind will go drifting deeper and deeper, like going through the jungle, leaf after leaf, tree after tree, lining your path to a state of utter magnificence, that you are walking at each step you take, takes you further down the path of relaxation, a sense that you are opening your gates of unconsciousness now, that you see that your mind is ultimately relaxing your body, that relaxing sensation spreading down to your feet, down to your palms, your body becoming ever so comfortable, your arms and legs like loose weights, just sitting there, just resting comfortably, like you would do just before you fall asleep, letting go of all that, and drifting down, allowing your mind to go deeper, deeper and deeper into a relaxed state. This is where things happen. This is where you will find tranquility. And this is where we will go, taking steps down, one at a time. And as you take each step, you see this beautiful magnificence of gardens and trees and a beautiful castle where your mind operates. And this is where you will find things happening, things in your mind that are programmed. I want you to enter through those gates and see the first chamber that is to the right. This chamber is the chamber of deservedness. Well, that means the sense that you have the right to have wealth. I want you to observe it and see the buttons there that says deserves, deserves a lot, and title. And you, I want you to see the dial and turn it all the way up, deserving and title, because you are entitled to have wealth in your life. And see the machinery ramp up, become more powerful, become alive. And as you step out of there, I want you to notice another room on your left. I want you to step in there and see opportunities for wealth. That's what's written on the door. I want you to go in there and see the panel of the dials. And in the center, there was another dial. It says opportunities. And I want you to increase that from whatever that it is. It's maybe a 2 or 5% to 100%. So that you see the opportunities before you, you can seize them. And as you do so, see the machines become alive, operating. And as you exit this room, once you walk down this path of hallways, at the very end, there's another door. In this door, there is a big sign that reads, Wealth Attractor. This is the room where things become real, where you are able to attract wealth. And as you step inside, you see this giant machinery. It's got these beautiful glowing lights, beautiful, elusive waves inside this funnel. This is where the wealth is generated. You may see that it's also very low. I want you to go to the panel and turn the dial all the way up. It says Wealth Tractor on. Press that giant button to start the initiation and you see the program loading and as it loads you notice that you are feeling comfortable secure and that you are empowered to make changes in your life to bring wealth to yourself to your life as this happens notice how you feel like you have the sense of certainty as if you are able to observe something very certain, like the day that is about to be dawn, the next day, and the day after, the sun coming out from the east, and sailing through the sky, knowing that tomorrow is going to come, and you are very sure of that. Notice that sensation in your body, that sense of certainty, as you look at the sun coming out from the east, 
I want you to imagine this sense of acknowledgement that you know something will happen for sure. And I want you to see yourself wealthy in the same place, owning the things that you want, doing the things you want, seeing that number in your bank account or the money that you own going up more than you have imagined it to be. Living the lifestyle that you wish in the place that you wish with the people you wish and making it seem comfortable like that you are now. The certainty that two of these things is actually one. The certainty that the sun is going to come up tomorrow and the certainty that you will be wealthy, financially successful. And as you drift down in the idea and this imprint becomes stronger, you see the panel says initiated, engaged, processing. And it will continue to process this program and keep it running day after day for the wealth to be attracted into your life. And then there is one other room to visit. This is the room most people forget to visit. And it is immediately to your left as you exit this room. And it's the room of gratitude. This is the room where you go in and there is this beautiful altar. And before the altar you say to yourself, I've come to give gratitude for all the things that I have, my health, my vision, the people that I love, and the opportunity to bring myself change. I thank myself and the universe and this recording that I'm hearing, these words that are taking me deeper and deeper into a state of unconsciousness where the programming happens all by itself. As it happens, you are a person who feels that all that life has brought you and this point is only the beginning of a life of financial success and emotional fulfillment, a sense that you have all that you need, that at the end of your days on this earth, you will be filled with happiness and gratitude for life has given you a journey that wealth has not been deprived of you but has been brought for you by the universe, by the words that you hear now, so that you are actually finding your path back. Now, as you exit this room and exit this beautiful building that is palace knowledge and your mind unconscious, now you exit this beautiful, splendid garden of beauty. This is where you will find peace and the state of tranquility that will happen in times when you may be challenged by the temptations of sabotage that often happens when people walk towards success. It is the single most detrimental things that can happen. And I want you to remember to return to this place any time that such a challenge comes about. And now that your mind is programmed, it will tell you when such challenges come about so that you may make the changes that are necessary from the destructive behaviors you had engaged in the past and engage in behaviors that are productive and wealth-creating. This is where everyone should be operating but fail to understand. This is why we are going to return to a place of comfort and tranquility as you listen to the music that is about to start. This is going to contain recordings, subliminal messages that's going to program your mind for success, for wealth and financial prosperity that happens ever so easily. Because everything in life is a series of events that follow a stream of thoughts, beliefs that you deserve the very best. You can have all that you desire, create a reality that you wish to live in. Ultimately, as Dalai Lama once said, 
the spiritual leader of the Tibetans that the purpose of life it is to be happy and as you do so you bring happiness to your life and joy to others happiness that is going to vibrate and accentuate the positivity in others and in yourself and i'm going to allow you to drift deeper and deeper into a state where you are going to dream many dreams as your mind is reprogrammed while you sleep and this programming will become more and more permanent and pronounced each time you listen to this recording and the subliminal messages that are hidden inside the music and at the end of each session you will sleep peacefully and profoundly that you will wake up the next day feeling refreshed and reinvigorated like you have not slept since you were a baby so deep and profound that life in itself becomes your slave it will serve you it will serve you to have the things that you desire no longer will you be chasing after dreams but the dreams will become reality as you manifest them as well becomes part of your life you learn that numbers money is just material things that in itself don't have meaning but create power and is like a multiplier that helps you to do more than what you have that forwards you the ability to purchase the things you want that forwards you the ability to travel to own things and create experiences in your life ultimately we are all on a journey of experience an experience that we create by our beliefs our thoughts our desires this is why you are where you are now yet you soon will be somewhere else as you drift deeper into a state of sleep and each time you listen you will be more asleep more profoundly profoundly in a state of serenity calmness and happiness so open your mind to the messages that are to follow allow your mind to drift ever so gently and as you do so realize that you are ultimately on a journey journey that is profound life altering and beautiful so until next time stay in peace be peace and bring peace to others